How exactly does SpaceX build a super heavy booster? The two propellant tanks built from separate ring sections are assembled individually. Again, this allows SpaceX to work on two parts of the vehicle at once and at much lower heights than if they stacked it all in one go. Funny enough, the tanks are actually stacked top down. So the forward dome, the topmost part of the methane tank, is joined with the section below it first and so on. Likewise, the liquid oxygen tank is stacked starting with the common bulkhead section before adding the sections below that. As we mentioned before, the final stringers are added here as well. They go over the weld lines between ring stacks, thus completing the internal structure of the vehicle. 